Hello and welcome to Dreamcoder and today I'm going to show you how to host PHP content on IAS that is Internet Information Services. Before uh, we can host our PHP content we need these things installed in our machine. The first thing that we need is we need IAS Manager and the next we need PHP Package and also any PHP application that we want to host. The last thing we need is a platform installer which I'm going to use to install PHP. Not every version of Windows have this IS manager installed, pre-installed. So if your machine does not have IS pre-installed then you can install by going to the start menu and type control panel click on programs and under programs and features click turn windows features on or off and from the windows features list select Internet Information Services as I already selected and installed in my machine. Uh, you may want to select this and click OK. That will install IS Manager. This time I'm going to cancel and now you can open IS Manager. You can also check if you have IS installed in your machine by going to any browser and type localhost. If you are able to see this, then you have IS installed in your machine. Minimize this down. So when you install IS, you have this uh, new folder iNetWorb created inside a uh, Windows C drive. Uh, after installing IS, uh, now we want to install PHP. For that, I'm going to use Web Platform Installer. As I have already installed the Web Platform Installer, uh, I'm able to see that in the management section just open it T products and here you will find uh, the PHP package uh, it has 64-bit version as well as 32-bit version whichever the machine um, your machine supports you can select and install On the right side, you'll find the uh, Add button that will add the items to be installed. You can click here and see what are the items that gets installed alongside your PHP package that you selected. Um, now close this. I have already installed another version of PHP. So I'm going to click exit well um, that's how we install PHP and the next thing is that we want to check if we have PHP successfully installed in our machine for that we need to create a new file inside the uh, inetpub folder I have one created inside uh, my documents this is the file that I created earlier I'll show you what's inside oh, 
opening it in notepad and just echoing php info that's it save this file with .php extension I'm gonna copy this and go to inet pub and inside www root I'm gonna paste this and after pasting your file if you go to any this location and uh, I have PHP 7.2.7 .7 installed in my machine this shows that you have PHP installed in your machine here you'll find the configuration steps and also down here the modules that gets installed alongside this PHP package. Alright, so we have installed IS Manager and PHP. That means we are all set and ready for hosting. For that, uh, go to File Explorer and inside Documents I have the PHP project. This is the project. I'm going to copy that and go to Windows C Drive and inside INETPUB paste it. Okay, we have our project inside INETPUB and the next thing is we want to go to IS Manager and on the left side in the Connections pane right click on Sites and then click Add Website give a site name and select the path uh, where your project is located in my case it's in inetpub this is the project and change the port to 85 leave the host name as it is make sure to check the start website immediately and then click OK now we have a binding set for this uh, print shop you can have multiple bindings uh, for a single site let's add one more binding go to bindings and click add this time it's on port number 80 and the host name as print shop click OK and then close so on the browse website we have two bindings let's click this uh, that's on port number 85 and as you can see we, we are able to access the site and then go back to IS manager and click on the second one that's on port number 80 and this time we are not able to access the site because uh, the host name print shop is not mapped to IP address so in order to do that we want to run notepad as administrator and go click on file open this is the path of where your hosts file is located if you are not able to see that uh, click add files 
and then select hosts then click open now we can add a new entry just copy this and change this to print shop do not use pound symbol before this that means it gets commented out save this file and you may close it now if you reload print shop you can access the site that's it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button thank you